today we're going to talk a little bit about looking back to the past instead of just going straight into the future. We have some things we need to talk about. I'm your host, Jessica Washington, and let's get started. So right now, we should be looking at that time of the year that's still summer. You know the future's on the horizon, and you're starting to silently feel like, okay, as a teacher, I know I have to do this. I know I have to look at scope and sequence. I know that I have uh, books to read. I know that I have these goals. I know my test scores for this last year versus this. Before you start planning for the future, I honestly ask you to get a glass of water or coffee sit back with a notebook and really jot down how you felt about your classroom last year. Get past the people or the students that caused headaches, get past the turmoil and think for a second, if you were a student in your room, at what levels would you have felt successful? At what levels would you have felt seen? At what time of the year? And those different things. Think about your own classroom and even go as far as to rate yourself, realistically on a scale of one to 10. Overall, how was that classroom last year? Was it a scale of a five? Meaning you had okay days, but you also had some crazy days. Was it a seven? Was it a nine? And then what about the class made it that ranking? So we're not focused on the number. We're focused on the feeling, the actions, and why you chose to rank it that way. Remember, in a student's eyes. So if you're going to turn around and look back at the classroom, and you're going to sit there and say, okay, I know I was this. And then you're going to stop and think for a second and say, okay, what were three things that I did really, really well? My students really have procedures down. Man, we implemented a new computer program system and my students really did well on that. Man, I had a homework system that was off the chart. Let's remember to be positive. What three things were really, really, really successful in the year? And what effort and what kind of effort did you put into making those things successful? Did you practice every day? Was there a mantra? Was there something with peer students being responsible for each other? What kind of feeling did it bring to your program? Because we're looking at what works in your classroom. We're looking at what you kind of did that was effortlessly. If you had strong classroom management, if you had have great centers whatever happened how did it happen and then two can you replicate it what will it take in order to replicate those same things is it the same effort is it the same energy do you need better resources because this time around when we look in the future you're not only trying to replicate it you're going to try to make it become something that's smooth and natural like a tra trait in your classroom a characteristics this is the one thing that teacher so-and-so does very very well well not one there's three but you want to turn around and be able to say, okay, I'm putting the planning together to make sure that these things go well, hands down, no matter what. Seems very simple, right? And I hope it is because this is a chance for you to remember or remark on who you are as a teacher and what really, really works. Now, here comes the tricky part. What three things just did not work? Cause frustration. Um, maybe it's a time of the day where there was a lot of write-ups. Maybe, let's be honest, that time after lunch, oh my gosh, when they come back, you know that's just atrocious. But what did not work? And not only did it not work, it frustrated you as well. So if you're a captain of the ship, this is when the ship is rocking and sailing and it's just exasperating. A lot of people, especially elementary, is trying to get them back from recess. We know when the energy goes up, it's really hard to refocus them back into studies. So then we sit down and look at those three things that just did not go as well as we wanted it to. What can we do now? See, this is the time of year where you can kind of plan and strategize what procedures can I put in place day one that will help those things become a little less hectic and a little less stressful for me. So that's where we're going to end right now, just repeating breaks. We're going to talk about it a little bit more, but down below in the comments, please, let's be honest. Let's talk about those three things that are just a headache. We're not even talking about solving them. We're talking about brainstorming those kind of ways that we can put these things that we want to sweep underneath the rug out to the forefront so we can figure out how can we make it better this year. Not excellent, better. Just at this point, better. Just, ah. <sighs> So right now, once again, below in the comments, tell me, tell me those headache things. Tell me those moments that you just want to sit there. Oh, oh my goodness. Attendance. My gosh, we just can't get a system down for attendance. Oh my gosh. Bathrooms. Really? Come on. I know you guys have a lot more for me. 
that's just a little sneak peek for right now for our PD breaks. I'm Jessica. It's been a joy. Check me out on Vibe Tribe Academy, and there's so much more where this came from.